And in this video, we're just going to a look at the workspace. So my office or my home studio is right next to my kids' room. You see, they've got some cool artwork up on uh, the important stuff on the wall. Uh, turn around and we kind of move down. Books, 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 books. And then my son made me a um, nameplate for my uh, office uh, with our little Mini Cooper there. And we will go into the office and see how we set this up. So, as you come on in, here's my uh, digital workstation. So we'll kind of move back a bit, and we'll see the uh, the uh, digital station. You can see a lot of reference books, things like that. As we move up high, you can see I keep a lot of props uh, in my um, studio. Uh, so again, surrounding things with things that you enjoy, a lot of reference books, a lot of art of books, some of my favorite illustrators, and move over here, more reference stuff, as you see, that I use for a lot of different, especially historical illustrations, and uh, some of the projects that I've worked on on the wall. One of the things I really want to show you in this is right here. This is my file system where I keep story ideas, keep my invoices, paid invoices, unpaid invoices. As I work on a story, it's high in the file, uh, and then when I finish it, it moves down. Um, I keep a lot of my sketch work in here. A lot of reference stuff that I compile for uh, different stories and things like that. So uh, really good uh, to keep a file uh, like this of creative ideas. Uh, my uh, buddy uh, Doug Tenaple had showed me that with a lot of his story ideas, so I thought, hmm, good idea, I'm going to adopt it. So um, again, as you move around the, the office, you can see uh, I have an old light there. and um, Moving around as we get into the closet area here, we'll go ahead and open the closet. You can see a lot of my supplies things like that, um, papers, sketchbooks, uh, and even more props. And as we close that one out, we'll come on over here and look at this side, and you can see a lot of costumes uh, and props and things like that. So when I'm working on a game project or a uh, um, uh, work that requires me to use models, I've got a lot of props, costumes. And I set my garage up as a light studio if I need it. And I have trunks of different costumes uh, in the garage. In 2000, I had a studio fire and I lost um, most of my collection of, of uh, um, props. Uh, so I've had to kind of rebuild that collection. You would um, cry, I think, if you knew what I had. I had uniforms basically from the Revolutionary War to the present and a lot of Victorian and Edwardian costumes and things like that, old sports uniforms um, that I've just collected since I was a kid, actually. I'm kind of a organized pat rack. So, um, And then you got to see the, the important of, you can see I like old things. So you see I have craftsman furniture in my studio. But the important thing is the chair that you sit in. So I have a Hermann Meyer chair that uh, is good to work in. So... Again, I think it's really important to um, to set up your office or your studio in a way um, that works for you and surrounding you yourself with um, things that you like. So, hope you enjoyed this.